we will show you how to use Pilotech UHT Sterilizer. Open the water valve. Open the main water inlet valve. Fill the hopper with water. Close the feeding valve. Loosen these two back pressure valves. Check the positions of these two three-way valves. Check the pressure of the pressure regulator and adjust it to 0.5 MPa. Turn on the water return valve switch. Turn on the touch screen. Click anywhere on the screen. Choose parameters. Set the first stage boiler temperature to 90 degrees. Set the second stage boiler temperature to 155 degrees. Set the screw pump frequency to 7 Hz. Now we begin SIP sterilization. Click menu. Choose manual control. Start the screw pump. Open the first stage boiler filling valve to add water to the first stage boiler. When water comes out from the first stage boiler overflow, it means that the first stage boiler is full of water. We can close the first stage boiler filling valve now. Open the second stage boiler filling valve. When water comes out from the second stage boiler overflow, it means that the second stage boiler is full of water. Close the second stage boiler filling valve. When the water returns from the pipes, Start the first stage circulation pump. Then start the second stage circulation pump. Add water to the first and the second stage boilers. Open the first and the second stage boiler filling valves. When the water comes out from the overflows of the first and the second stage boilers, close these two filling valves. When doing SIP sterilization, keep the first stage cooling water valve at close position. Keep the SIP cooling section water valve at open position. Turn on the first stage heating. Turn on the second stage heating. Pressurize the back pressure valve on the right. When the second stage boiler temperature reaches 80 degrees, set material pressure to 0.1 MPa. Add water to the first and second stage boilers again. Open the first and second stage boiler filling valves. When the water comes out from the overflows of the first and second stage boilers, close these two filling valves. When 
the second stage boiler temperature reaches 90 degrees. Then we can close the overflow valve of the second stage boiler. Now the temperature is over 90 degrees. We can close the overflow valve of the second stage boiler. When the second stage boiler temperature is over 120 degrees, pressurize the back pressure valve on the right to set material pressure at 0.3 MPa. Wait for the filling temperature to reach 121 degrees. After the filling temperature reaching 121 degrees, keep it for 2 minutes. Then open the first stage cooling water valve. Wait for the filling temperature to drop under 90 degrees. Now the filling temperature is under 90 degrees. Turn the three-way valve to the drain position. Loosen the back pressure valve on the right a little bit. Then tighten the back pressure valve on the left a little bit. Repeat this process alternately until the back pressure valve on the left is fully under pressure. Then completely loosen the back pressure valve on the right. Keep the material pressure at 0.35 MPa. When there is only a little water left in the hopper, add a little material. When there is only a little water and material mixture left, add all remaining material. Remove the return pipes. Open the breathing valve. When the outlet starts to discharge material instead of water, turn off the filling valve. When the material reaches half the height of the set glass, we can begin filling the material. Keep stepping on the foot valve during the filling process. Turn off the second stage heating, then turn off the first stage heating. Turn off second stage circulation pump and turn off the first stage circulation pump. Wait for the highest temperature in the pipelines to drop below 95 degrees. Now the highest temperature is under 95 degrees. Loosen the back pressure valve on the left. Turn off the screw pump. Turn off the touch screen. Close the water valve. Connect the return pipes. Close the breathing valve.
turn on the return valve. Choose parameters. Set the first stage boiler temperature at 70 degrees. Set the second stage boiler temperature at 70 degrees. Set screw pump frequency at 50 Hz. Click menu. Choose manual control. Completely loosen two back pressure valves. Turn two three-way valves to the return position. Fill the hopper with water. Close the filling valve. Turn on the screw pump. Turn on the first stage circulation pump. Turn on the second stage circulation pump. Turn on the first stage heating. Turn on the second stage heating. Close the SIP cooling section water filling valve. Close the first stage cooling water valve. Wait for the pipe temperature to exceed 65 degrees. After 5 minutes circulation, Turn off the first and the second stage circulation pump. Turn the three-way valve on the drain position. Add clean water to drain the sewage in the pipelines for three minutes. Close the filling valve. Turn off the screw pump. After CIP cleaning, turn off the touch screen. Close the water valve. Well, that's the whole experiment process.